Loves, this is going to be the first video in my insulin management series and this is going to be discussing glucose corrections using um, insulin. So I thought it was very important to explain how I manage uh, type 1 diabetes using insulin management. I'm currently using injections versus the insulin pump. Um, so I hopefully you enjoy. Um, I'm going to first introduce you to some of my uh, friends in my arsenal to uh, beat this disease. And that is my trusty friend, my glucometer. I use the Freestyle Light because it's very small, it's compact, but most importantly, it requires very little blood to check your glucose. And then my, uh, for my meal corrections and my glucose corrections, I use the fast-acting insulin, the Novolog, and the FlexiPen. When I was on the insulin pump, I also used a Novolog for the pump as well. And then for my long-lasting insulin, I use the Lantus. I take 30 units at night on days I don't work out and the days I do I take 26 because obviously my body requires less insulin when um, I'm, a, I'm working out because your metabolism speeds up and it uses the insulin better so this video is glucose correction I hope you enjoy it does not have the glitz and glamour of a um, projectile and all that stuff to show you how I do my glucose corrections It's very basic but it definitely tells the story and feel free as usual to send me messages um, as you guys have done on diabetic care so enjoy peace <laughs> now I'm gonna go over how I use my insulin to manage my glucose corrections I said it before that my target glucose is always at 100 for me that works well um, I tend to feel great at that level so I always want my glucose to be reading as close to 100 as possible now, in order for that to happen, I have to know my insulin to glucose ratio. Now, for me, my insulin glucose ratio is 1 to 30. What that means is that for every 30 units of, of glucose that I am over my targeted range, I use one unit of insulin to correct that. And once again, the insulin that I use is my Novolog. In the flexi pen. Hey, Nova Log. So let me give you an example. Let's say I wake up and my glucose is reading at 130. I'm gonna get as close to this as possible. So that's my glucose, but my target is always at 100. So therefore, my glucose correction is 30. I take 130 minus 100. And that's my correction. Your correction is always going to bring you back down to your target. Therefore, I take my correction, which is 30, over my insulin to glucose ratio, which also happens to be 30. And in order for me to get back down to my target of 100, I would take one unit of Novolog insulin. Let me give you another example. Let's say I'm reading a glucose of 150 and my target once again is at 100 therefore I have a correction glucose of 50. I'm going to take my correction glucose of 50 over my insulin to glucose ratio which is 30 and that's going to equal 1.667 units of insulin that I have to take. Now with most insulin pens, such as this one, you only can take insulin in whole measures. So I cannot take 1.66 units of insulin. I can only take one or I can take two by rounding this number up to two. Now you have to determine with your physician which works best for you. In my case, because I tend to be very resistant to insulin, I'm going to take two units of insulin of my Novolog. Therefore, this is the measurement that I use to keep my glucose as close as possible of being under control. Thank you.